How's it going everybody? My name's the Drum Guy. Welcome back to another video. And in today's The Drum Guy Reacts, we are looking at Majestica. They released a song four weeks ago as of this recording called Glory of Christmas. So this song is an extension of their Christmas Carol album, which they did uh, last year. And I did do a reaction video to it. Link will be in a card, uh, should be on your screen now. It was the first time I'd ever listened to Majestica, which makes me think I should add it to the first time listening series, because technically it was the first time I heard them. And also it was kind of an album review, so maybe if I do start my album review series, I should add it to that as well. It wears many hats, that video. But I thoroughly enjoyed uh, the Christmas album that they did, and this is just another uh, song to add to that list, which, I'm not sure if they're going to maybe do another, well, I, I would hope they'd do another Christmas album because the last one was really cool. I love the concept of it. So hopefully that they'll do another one. Now I am a bit late to the party for this song uh, as I took a bit of a break from making videos and now I'm basically playing catch up uh, with songs. So make sure you do check out uh, the other videos I have released recently, which I've added some first time listening videos to Spirit Box and Love Bites. I did do a reaction video to Christmas Truce by Sabaton. J uh, the last video I released is the inaugural episode to my brand new series, Drummer Spotlight, which will focus on, as I say in that video, it will focus on a drummer per video. And the first episode for that is up, which is to uh, Haruna from love bites so please check out all those videos i would greatly appreciate it so we're going to get into this glory of christmas by majestica i absolutely love everything i've heard so far so i've, I've got high hopes for this i've ignored this song for as long as i can and i can't ignore it anymore i need to listen to it so here we go are you ready well you better be ready because you're watching the video let's go Oh, look at that marching sound. This is cool. Singing loud and disturbing the looks of pride. So let's pause it there because I believe that sounded like the chorus. Wow, what a song so far. What a catchy song as well. So you had that um, da -da -da, uh, that, that marching section. I was going to try and recreate it, but that, that sort of marching vibe that it gave at the beginning. And then it went into the... Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. And that just sounds like such a catchy beat for me. Uh, I love the animation style that they've got going on this. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, obviously it's like drawings, but it's got a certain charm to it and it's really cool. And I love how uh, they've, they've kept the band as characters and, and stuff like that. Obviously, is it, oh, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I think it's, it's Tommy, isn't it? the main guy uh he's obviously scrooge as he played in the last um set of songs with the album so uh, he's continuing on from that but yeah i love the uh the verse the the sort of tune to the verse and again throwing in all uh, obviously throwing in all the nods to the story of a christmas carol which i don't know but when 
you're sort of limiting yourself to writing a song about a specific story. Um, it just amazes me how, to me, I, I look at it as a limitation, but they're, they're still able to, to write a song on it and make it as good as it, as it sounds and also make it sound very Christmassy because obviously it's a Christmas song. Uh, sorry, a Christmas story, but they're making it able to sound Christmassy, and it's just, yeah, it's just the the true um, musicianship of the band to be able to pull uh, this off, or any band that is able to pull off like a story-related um, song or themed song. Um, it it just it just amazes me. Um, and then we came into that chorus where it then went into the da da dun da da dun beat. Uh, and again, and then we had the the rest of the band doing the choir vocals, which just added to the catchiness, in, in my opinion, to that chorus. And I love it. And it just, you know, you can see me bobbing away because that's just what this song wants to makes me want to do. So, yeah. So uh, so far, really cool. Uh, we'll carry on. I loved how like nearly everything cut out. It was just the the bass drum carrying that beat with the hi hat back in it, um, and it was like a bit. I think it, I want to say it was like a mute on the guitar. I'm not I'm not a guitarist, but that bit that little section sounded cool. Um, I think we're about to go into a sort of solo s part, but just to comment on that, that was really cool because obviously the, the rest of the band are made to look like they're Christmas carolers, and that bit I think was meant to emphasise like a Christmas carol section, like carolers stood outside the door and, and, and caroling away. That was a really cool, cool part. Um, and yeah, just for a split moment, I thinking it back again to the actual music video. It's such a simple music video in terms of it's just basically it's, it's essentially still animation drawings, but there's like a little bit of like you saw that bit where he's holding the money in his hand and he just simply closed the hand like you know it's very simple movements in in the story like the character might slowly glide across the camera, but you really feel like you actually are still watching. Um, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but you, you think you're watching more than what you're seeing, and that's what's really cool when they got the effects over the top. Yeah, it's just really cool, but I think we're about to go into a solo because I heard the double kick came in and the guitar started to go off, so I think we're about to go into a really cool section, so let's carry on. <laughs> The animation is really cool in this music video.
will end in. So it says, Glory of Christmas from the album, a Christmas Carol extended version available November 12th. So that was two days ago as of this recording. So they are doing an extended version to the, to the album and that song's obviously been added into it. That's actually really cool because there's probably, like when they initially came out with the album, there was probably some sections that people were like, oh, you didn't like mention this from the story. Like they got all the main plot points, like they got all the, you know, the Ghost of Christmas Past, present and future they did a song about uh, before it where scrooge is you know bar humbug and stuff then uh, they did a song for bob cratchit and then there was uh, the song where obviously he, uh, scrooge just opened his eyes to the to the spirit of christmas and then he has that glorious song at the end and then there were two instrumental um songs what i think one at the beginning and one at the very end so they did they did get pretty much all the main plot points but I, I guess in a way it's just beefing up the story so this is obviously f I'm from the story that I'm getting this song would come after the, uh, the first so you got the first instrumental song then you got the actual first song where it introdu introduces the story and then I would say this song would come after that one because as you saw at the end, he goes to his, he went to his manor, and um, the face of Jacob Marley appeared on the door knocker, which uh, happens uh, on the night that Jacob Marley visits him. Oh yeah, I forgot they did a song about Jacob Marley. Yeah, of course, um, Jacob Marley visits him, and they did a song on that one. So that's when that song would then come in, and then obviously the the, the free ghost visits and. and so on as the story goes so that's where i'd say the song would come in so it just you know just beefs up the uh the story um because there's a lot they can do with it because i think they did say last year i think tommy said in an interview that he, he would like to do another christmas album the fact that they're able to find a way to add more songs to it i still think it's really cool i don't think it's cheap in any way to just you know kind of continue on from what they did last year because i love the, the christmas carol story and i loved what they did last year and this song you know is probably now my favorite song in, in the series but like i said last year if you go and watch that video i, I said that you know if we look at all the the, the variations of the, the christmas carol story um you have the there's a really really old one which i haven't seen you've got scrooged which had uh, bill murray in it uh you've got the the muppets christmas carol and then you you had uh, the uh, animation one. I don't. It wasn't Disney, was it? Or was it Disney? I think it was Disney, wasn't it? The Jim Carrey version, the animated Christmas Carol that came out a couple of years back. Um, so there are like variations of the story, and my personal favourite. Um, I've never really been a big fan of them, but for some reason I like the Christmas Carol version. Is the Muppets? I love the Muppets version. Don't know why. Uh, I think every year I have to watch it at least once. I think it's just like a nice family friendly version the jim carrey version is actually kind of dark in places uh for a kids film especially when it gets to the ghost of um christmas yet to come but it's still a still a good version um scrooged i'm not actually that much of a big fan of i don't know if it's because growing up that was just the go-to version that i always saw played like either by family members or friends or whoever i was with and it just kind of got overplayed for me then that's just why i'm not that big of a fan of that version anymore um i still like will tip my hat that it is, it is a really good iteration of the story um i'm not slating it in any way shape or form and then you have now and then you got this version um a musical uh, variation and uh i love it i love this tale of the of the, of the um christmas carol i've got all the songs like on my phone and i listen to it around about this time of year as i'm driving like to and from places i'll just listen to it <laughs> i remember uh going we're we'll getting to the end of the video but i'll just tell a um quick story last year i was driving home from uh where i currently worked at the time just done a night shift and it was like early hours in the morning still dark out on the roads and there was like barely anyone around and as i was leaving snow was starting to fall and as i drove i got onto onto this main road so i got i think i got like 
two minutes from my workplace. I'm, I don't know what's it? Yeah, two minutes because I have to go for I have to go for a couple of like smaller roads and then I come onto this main road. And as soon as I hit that main road, I like blinked and it just hit like loads of snow hit. It was really really bad and there was. I, I, I got stuck a few times. I, it was the first time I've ever driven in, in such torrential snow that I, I legit thought, I'm not gonna make it home. I'm just gonna have to stay in, the, stay in my car because um, it was too far for me to walk. So I was gonna have to stay in my car. I'm just gonna get stuck and just have to wait because like they hadn't pre-planned for it. It was like the night that the snow just unpredictably really hit bad. Sorry, they hadn't, but well, they claimed that they did, but I don't, I don't think they did as be much as they should have. They, they didn't really grit the roads, so it was all fresh snow, and it was it was really bad. And I just remember everything was white, and I was listening to this, uh, the Christmas Carol album, and I was like, I'm, I'm really like in two minds of what to think. I was like happy and jolly listening to the music because that's what it makes me feel. But at the same time, I was absolutely panicking because my car was stuck in the middle of the road. I couldn't get up like hills and stuff. And I was like, what am I gonna do? I still had like half an hour worth of travel to get home. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna make it because I, have, you know, so the roads were absolutely terrible. I even saw like Arctics that, and usually like big vehicles can kind of make it, but Arctics were just like stuck and, yeah, a few cars facing the wrong way on the wrong side of the road. It was terrible, but I just remember that night specifically, and I was listening to uh, the Christmas carols uh, on my uh, in my car. I think I've waffled on long enough. I've probably lost the interest of a lot of you by now, but if you stuck with me until this point, then thank you very, very much. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching it as I've enjoyed watching it uh, while reacting to it, I should say. My name is Drum Guy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.